Okay, so it's another day in the fish room and if we come over here, you can see in this tank here, we've got a peppermint bristlenose and he's been on eggs for about a week and you can see it's gonna be a little bit hard because he's in a really awkward position. You can see in that cave is a bunch of these fry. So we've got to strip these guys out. So we're gonna do that and then we can count how many fry we got. So let's just quickly do that. Here we go. Okay, so you can see all the peppermints here and I did a count and I think there's about 130 of them which is kind of nuts so I can't really believe we got this many peps but uh, we're going to add them to this grow art tank over here in the corner so I've taken the matten filter out and there's a ton of mold for them to chew on and I'm going to add some leaves in a sec but we'll add them in here and they can do some growing out in here and turn into decently sized peppermint bristle nose. Come on, come on guys fine off here. We'll add some driftwood and uh, we'll add some some leaf litter to this aquarium for these guys to rasp on but you can see them all on the glass there. Okay so we've got some botanicals here so we're going to add some of these guys to the aquarium. So what I've added are these mulberry leaves, these guava leaves which I collect with Justin and these eucalyptus leaves. So these are, I think, the flowering gum leaves. Now, the mulberry leaves and the guava leaves are gonna break down really quick and form a lot of biofilm, which will get the guts of these little guys really just start pumping because it's full of just like bacteria and it's just amazing stuff for them. So these are gonna be great. And then the eucalyptus provides a lot of uh, that eucalyptus oil, which is a great antibacterial and antifungal, which should help with these guys at this age. So we've added that. We're also going to give them a squirt of some baby brine shrimp. So we've got some baby brine shrimp here. So let's get like a little pipette full of it. So you can see it all here. I'm just going to add this to the aquarium. And that'll go along the glass and all that. And these guys will be able to eat that. So I might just do one more squirt because there's just a ton of them in there. And this is just great food for them at the start. So that's all you need to feed them at the moment. They'll get some green rapashi. So some super green rapashi and all that kind of stuff. And I'll keep you guys updated as they continue to develop. Well, it's now the afternoon and we're back in the fish room. And you can come over to the tank and you can see in here how it's cleared up and all the leaves have started to sink. And if you look up in the back, you can see all the peppermint bristlenose. So they're settled in, um, there's some baby brine shrimp in the water and hopefully they start to do really, really well in this aquarium, so that's great. But I guess besides from that, what we're gonna be setting up this afternoon because it's late at night and I've just finished up all the jobs in the fish room, is we're gonna be setting up a few more pairs of bedders. So if you look in here, you can see there's a bunch of fry in this box here. So we bred some bedders in here. Um, there's fry over here. In here, we've got some of the yellow hellboy fry. We're not gonna be able to see them too well because they're so tiny. And some more fry in here. Now, there's a few pairs over here which I've been pair testing that didn't spawn last time. So we've got a yellow hellboy here. We've got, I don't know, this like platinum blue rim better here. We've got this awesome looking female here which we're gonna be pairing up with some awesome looking male. And we've got this drab female. So I think we might swap this drab female out, use this female. And if you have a look at some of these males, they just look incredible. So there's one there, there's another one there, and then there's a blue black male over here. So you can see he looks all right, but these two just look fantastic. So we'll set these guys up and uh, hopefully we get some spawning tomorrow. Okay, so we've just set the pairs up and you can see we've got this beautiful female with this beautiful male here. These are just the half moon percuts. And then here we've got a blue black bicolor with, um, I think, what was the female in here? So we've got the blue black male there. And then we had a beautiful female in here somewhere. Maybe we didn't add a female. Okay, well, good thing I spotted that. We'll add a female. And here we've got this like platinum half moon percut with this, uh, blue rim half moon percut and we've got this like marble half moon percut placat gosh I can't say that word with this yellow hellboy female and then we've got two yellow hellboys here so we'll see how they go we'll cover these guys up and we'll check up on them in the morning and see if we've got any spawning going on okay so quick update me and Justin have uh, gone and we picked up a ton of fish so there's 10 
special nose pairs down there and there's a apparently blue eye lemon pair here so I don't know we'll have to see when we get to the fish room but we'll show you guys when we get there so we just got back from a long drive credit to Justin for driving <laughs> <laughs> Shout out. I'm tired. Yeah, everyone's <laughs> tired now. We've picked up a bunch of fish. Here's some fish that Justin's taken home. So these are just some pairs of albino bristlenose. And they don't look albino because they've been feeding on uh, cichlid pellets. Yeah. So they're massive though. And uh, we also picked up this trio of uh, L144 blue eye lemon plecos. So hopefully these guys breed for us. But that's what we got. We also just came into the fish room and uh, there was literally four angel spawns. So these guys, I, I don't know why we didn't vlog it. These guys spawned, um, we had a black marble spawn, a leopard spawn, and another koi spawn. And we set them all up over here. So we've got, we've got a whole bunch of these angelfish eggs in here. So that's really good news. And we've also had a stirby spawn. So if you come over here, you can see there's a bunch of these stirby eggs all over the tank. So we're gonna go collect all these and um, wrap up here for the afternoon. So we've got in here what we think, the water would stop moving. I think that's meant to be the male. That's the female and then maybe a young female or male there. So we'll grab this one. So this is the male, allegedly. Oh, that's so gross to touch. Male. You reckon? Mm -hmm. 100%? Uh, yeah. Well, we'll have to see compared to the other ones. Yeah, let's throw the other one in and have a look. Turn around. Come on. Ooh. I think this is the one I thought was a male. So you thought that one was male? And that, and that's the female. Oh, they look so similar. Mm. Oh, I guess time will tell. I think that's a male. I, th I, I think, think you're right, yeah. But he's got the spikes on his side fins, so. <laughs> if anyone's got a male, let us know. I think we've got two females, maybe. Anyways. They like corral them into the mat. Cool. Well, we'll see how they go. So it's a few days later and we're back in the fish room and in today's little segment of the vlog, we're gonna be changing out these containers and I'm gonna turn the lights on and show you what's in here. So I don't know if you guys can see, but in these containers, I'm hatching out some little tiny rainbow fish. So you can see they're very, very small. You can see along the surface of the water, there's just a bunch of these little tiny Rainbow fish. So these guys are dwarf neon pragox rainbows and I've got these guys up here on top of the better rack and they're all hatching out. So what happens with these guys is, is you throw a spawning mop inside of the parents aquarium and then the fish go and they scatter their eggs within that mop. So you can see all that yarn and stuff there is where the eggs would get scattered. And then what I do is I throw them into one of these tubs and I throw a little bit of aeration which you can see there just to break the surface of the water and oxygenate the water. And these guys hatch out where they eat lots of little Hikari first bites, egg yolk, and baby branch when they're big enough. So we've got heaps of these guys. There's probably maybe a hundred of these prey fox rainbows. And then over in this tub, we don't have as many because these guys are a new colony, but these are some Bosmani rainbows. So we're gonna take these guys out and we're gonna take, um, so we're gonna put these guys into grow outs now. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the spawning mops from over the other side of the fish room and swap them out and hopefully hatch out a few more eggs. So we'll get to doing that now. Okay, so we've just set these guys up and you can see in here, this is probably one of the Praycox spawning mops. So we'll have a look through here and see if we can't find any eggs. Because normally there's just a ton in here. Um, so I don't know how well you guys can see, but 
but right there in the middle of like where my fingers are are some eggs so you can see there's quite a few there they'd lay them in like clutches of like I don't know maybe 20 each morning each female so every day they get eggs you can see there's some more right there in the middle of the screen those little pearls right there so how cool is that those are the prey cocks so we're gonna leave this mop in this container for about 10 days and you'll see these little baby prey cocks swimming around the top and what you're gonna do is you're gonna use some of your Hikari first bites or you can use egg yolk and things like that and it's gonna provide like a little dust over the top so I'll show you guys when I do that when these guys start hatching and uh, we should be good okay so it's now the next morning and we're back in the fish room and in today's little bit of the vlog we've got to do a few things so there's a few jobs you have to do I'm very excited to show you well two things I guess which are really cool and exciting we've got to take out some orders to uh, you guys so you guys have placed a few orders and I'm really thankful for that so we're going to take those to the post office and we've also got to take out um, an order to a shop which is also very exciting so we're going to do that today so I'm going to flip around the camera and show you guys what's happening over here so firstly if you look on this banana leaf we've got a spawn from a pair of these platinum angels so I've been waiting a long time for these guys to pair off and it's great to see these guys have started to breed so we'll be taking this out and hatching these eggs artificially um, so that was the first thing I want to show you which is really really exciting and then if we come over here if you look in this tub it's literally been like 12 hours since these guys were put in here and look at all these little rainbow fish it's actually unbelievable these are all the dwarf neon rainbows there are so many of these guys in here if you look over here in the Bose Minies there's a few not as many but there's there's a decent amount of these guys in here see a few over here so so that was what I wanted to quickly show you guys these guys are very very easy to breed they're not much of an effort so a lot of people can have success with dwarf neon rainbows and rainbow fish in general they're very very fun to keep and uh, the, the good thing about rainbow fish is you can choose when you want to spawn them so that's a really good thing I like about rainbow fish so if you guys are interested you can buy some of the prey cocks down below um, I have a few available on the website so go and check that out but um, let's get to work I guess uh, doing some jobs Okay, so the day's come to where we're going to select some brood stock out from our black rams for future breeding. And uh, Justin's picking out, how many are you picking out? I think we're going to do maybe like four pairs or something. Four, four pairs? Ones. Yeah. Okay, cool. So we're picking out a bunch of these black rams. Let's see how good some of them look. There's really plump females, just absolutely chock full of eggs like you can see here. This is a so, nice male. Yeah. That's a beautiful male there. And we're going to catch all these guys out. And um, Justin's going to pair them off and we're going to start up our F2s. They'll be our F2s, won't they? Yeah, yeah F2s. Yeah. So that ones. one right there. Yep. Oh, Alright, gonna, this is going to take a bit of effort. Yeah, so. Well, yeah. <laughs> so, we've picked them out. Um, look how black they are. I mean, this, this one's really, really black. Yep. That's like probably our best one. Yeah, he's like solid black, it's beautiful. And then we've got um, the dominant pairs in here. And we've got some little runt ones, which are also very, very black, like that big, beautiful male there. Yeah, so, so they'll, just... be, they'll be going in my community tank so that they can get some size and then hopefully we can breed those too. Perfect. Yeah. So we're going to bag those up and then I'm going to select out some and uh, hopefully breed those. So while we were pairing up Justin's fish, we've selected some for my future breed stock. So we've got, already we've got tanks with some black rams in it. So this tank and this tank, which we're doing some rearranging. So we'll be showing you guys all that stuff. But we're putting these guys into this tank. So we're gonna be doing two pairs into this tank. So we'll release these guys. It's a little bit dirty, but there we go. So we'll actually have to set up this tank a little bit better. But hopefully, one of these two pairs starts to breed and becomes a real solid pair and makes us a ton of fry. And then we're also going to be pairing up, or we're going to be doing a trio in the other tank. Um, so we'll just do that. And then what we're going to do 
is a lot of these females are actually so fertile and so gravid that they get so big that, and there's so many fish in this tank so they can't lay their eggs and they just explode. I'm not kidding. So we've had two of them explode, which is kind of gross and sad. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna take half of this out, put it in this tank with a ton of areas for them to hide. And hopefully what will happen is they'll breed um, and be able to get those eggs out and grow better. So we'll keep going. So we've got this other trio. So I'll put them into their tank. So now what we're gonna be doing is because we're making a bunch of these breeding areas for all these rams, we're gonna be making a bunch of these like concaves. Is that what you'd call them, Justin? Like a... Know, like a barricade. Yeah, it's like a barricade. Yeah, like yeah. a barricade. Privacy. So yeah. what we're gonna try and do is break this in half so we have two halves of the pot and then we could have like on the inside, I'll just show you guys. I don't know if this is gonna work. So it's kind of cringe. I don't know, I hate breaking stuff. I shouldn't be saying that. That's annoying. I mean, that one's a fail. We can maybe salvage that one. Yeah. This one. That's good. That's good. Nearly a fail. That stuff's so tough. Yeah, it is. Oh, yes. Mate. There you go. Another perfect one. Look at my crap compared. <laughs> they look good. Yeah, they're really good. All right, we'll sand those corners up and we'll put them in the aquariums. So we'll get six more of these to make some more of these uh, hides. We're here at Bunnings and we're also gonna get some of these pebbles, hopefully, to uh, spawn them on. So we'll have a look at the pebbles. I don't know which ones we're gonna get. So we're also gonna be getting like a bag of these ones with uh, spawning black rocks on the for, the, for the ramps. I don't know if that made sense. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna be getting these ones. So Justin and I have just finished up another big day in the fish room. We've got all of Justin's stock. So Justin's going to be breeding this stuff. Um, how many did you take? I took four pairs. Four pairs. So yep. we'll see how we go with them. Um, if you want to watch the progress of how these fish go, go check out Justin's channel in the link above. But we've also done a bit of a revamp and uh, we've upgraded all of our ram tanks. So you can see we've got way less glare now. So that's nice. Um, and this is the method that we're going to be using to breed the rams, hopefully. So we've got like all of our shells and everything like that. Um, I'll be showing you guys this better in the morning when it looks a bit better. We've got um, them all set up and we'll have a look at the fish in the morning and see how they're going. But pretty impressed with what we've done here. Like it looks amazing, all these ram tanks. And even if you look over here, I mean the lights are off, but these tanks look fantastic as well with um, everything. So.